Okay guys, welcome to another YouTube video. I'm just starting off with a little bit of music. Um, today is Wednesday. A uh, little update. I went to prom and it was pretty awesome. You know, pretty lit. You know, a great DJ, like a, a legitimate DJ that could like, you know, blend tracks and stuff. He took requests. Um, uh, yeah, so I requested uh, I requested Kanye uh, Kanye and Rihanna's All the Lights, but apparently they couldn't find an appropriate version, which is kind of dumb because they played, you know, a little more, you know, racy songs than that. Um, but then I requested uh, All I Do Is Win by DJ Khaled, and that was like a real crowd favorite, you know, all the great lyrics like, uh, you know, All I Do Is Win, and like, uh, uh, hand go up, and they say there, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, so that was a pretty good success, you know, I, uh, I mapped out the route ahead of time, so, um, I don't know if I said this on, on YouTube, but, uh, I took Sammy Real, our stage manager, hashtag my stage manager, to prom, uh, in my car, uh, that I just got, like, two months ago, um, but yeah, I mapped out the, uh, route ahead of time, just so I wouldn't get, like, lost and stuff, so I actually did a full, you know, like, you know, like, preparation run, starting at, like, noon of that day, um, I also bought my tie that day, so it, a, lot of, <coughs> a lot of last minute stuff, um, but yeah, no, it went well, I only got lost, like, once, a lot of, yeah, but, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, what was I, oh, yeah, so, as you can tell by my cough and probably my, uh, like, how I'm talking, I'm pretty sick, actually, I'm really warm right now, because I don't know if I have a fever or not, but I've been warm all day, and I'm, you know, wearing this hat, 80% body heat escapes through your head, so I'm trapping that in right now, so it's really warm. But I'm doing it because, you know who it is, the past champions, the best dynasty of all time in the NFL. Let's transition really quick. Tomorrow is draft day, which is just amazing. Like, there's there's numbers, there's math, there's, like, you know, strategy, as, uh, as George Bush put it, strategy. Uh, you know... Lots of crazy stuff. People's lives are at stake. You know, there are people making millions that can make zero. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a separate video about the Gary on Conley incident. Uh, I think it's similar to the Duke lacrosse scandal. Fantastic lies is what it's been dubbed. Um, but I'll probably make a separate video on that because no one will like it and people will probably hate me um, for my opinion of it. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm <coughs> really sick. That wasn't even fake. Um, and I skipped. Uh, Wednesday, uh, cause I was so sick, um, I shouldn't have really come back today, I was so tired, but, uh, it was, it was still fine to go, uh, shout out to Miss Winsett, you know, I didn't do my readers thing, I didn't bring it to school, and she's giving me 100% credit, cause I was sick that day, which is pretty legit, you know, uh, I didn't have to fight for it or anything, you know, she just told me, I was like asking for 50%, and she gave me 100, so that was awesome, um, shout out to our awful sub in math analysis, Hopefully just she doesn't sue me for defamation, but she can't actually access the internet because she doesn't understand how to operate computers. That's right, we brought in a grandma of a girl in our class who I'm not going to disclose because, you know, I don't want to roast anyone's grandma, but the only reason she was hired was because she was a relative. Um, and she's actually, I feel like she's partially senile. Um, you know, I, I like old people because they're really sweet usually and really knowledgeable. This lady, she's just sarcastic and doesn't understand how to teach. And we're being judged on it, so, you know, I don't want to give them too much of a rant, but that was like a short one-minute rant about that. Um, other than that, physics was, you know, a joke again today. If you watch my Snapchat story, we were just balling out, throwing some uh, paper airplanes, paper uh, paper balls all around the classroom. The sub just laughed and watched, so that was pretty fun. Uh, you know, I'm just going through my day, you know. Uh, I have more stuff about my week. Uh, this is going to be a very long episode, I think. Um, yeah, so in fourth period, Birch, we uh, wrote a DBQ. Uh, but with some adjustments, we just wrote down some bullet points instead of full paragraphs. Because, you know, Birch is a boss, you know. Uh, a lot of people's grades are going way up in that class um, in A-Bush. And I'm not very worried about the final exam. I'm predicting probably a, you know, worst four, best five. I'm, I'm expecting a five. Uh, I'm pretty good at U.S. history. I think it matters. Um, that's on the 5th, the, uh, the AP Lang exam. I'm just looking at the calendar right here. That's going to be a Friday, next Friday. After that, it's AP Lang the following Friday, two Fridays from now. Um, anyway, going to the fifth period, culinary, a joke class, just chilling out. Sixth period, uh, shout out to Carmenos. I cheated, um, and not like 100%, but I, uh, I didn't know I was cheating, actually. I thought you were supposed to copy his code and then, uh, like put in your own stuff. Uh, so I wasn't aware I was cheating, and I told him that, and he understood. 
and let me uh, make it up. Uh, so shout out to Carmenas, uh, the resident vegan. He's pretty crazy, but he's interesting. Um, other than that, on Monday, which is two days ago, not the day I skipped, feeling a little under the weather. Uh, there's a huge plague. I know Sammy has it, Cassie has it. I think uh, Meg and uh, Maddie Palky, maybe even Tyler, uh, her <clears throat> her uh, boyfriend, uh, I think, has it, and a lot of other people too. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I went to a visit on FSU campus. It was great, you know. They brought me in. They're like, listen, Matt, we need to have you. You're a five-star prospect. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I went in, you know, a normal visit with a ton of other people, a lot of juniors and a lot of seniors, too. Some out-of-state people, which was really cool because they really, you know, that's like the number one option for a lot of people. I met, uh, there was a girl from Michigan there. Uh, and I was like, really? I wish I could swap places and live in Michigan so I could maybe go there. But uh, it's a great, great university. Um you know, top 10 in a lot of, lot of departments. Football, you know, that's a huge thing. You get free tickets. You're entered in a lottery to, you know, receive tickets. Free tickets to basketball games. Free tickets to the theater, the circus. Uh, one of only two circuses in Circa, I don't know, circuses in the entire United States. Um, great political science, uh, political science area there. A little less than Florida and Miami uh, in the rankings, but it's right near the capital, which the guy on our tour, one of my dad's former students, a uh, criminology student, but a, a, a guy who's trying to get a law degree from Boston U, uh, Boston University. He actually interned with a person from the Capitol, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, from the Tallahassee Capitol, and then eventually going to the National Capitol at Washington D.C. Um, other than that, uh, they have a lot of food there. They have an unlimited meal plan that I would probably get. You know, uh, I'm not trying to, you know, trying to get fat, but I'm trying to enjoy myself. You know, college is fun. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so that's an option. That's my that's my fallback. I think. I mean, I'm I'm blessed <clears throat> to have a fallback as Florida State. Like obviously, I love the football. It's like number one, you know, for me in football. You can see like you got Jameis and Jameis <clears throat> FSU FSU. Sorry for my coughing. Um, so I want to go there. That would trump everything, possibly, but probably not. Like if I got into Michigan, I probably couldn't go because of money. If I got into Georgetown, I'd probably go. If I got into Duke, I'd probably go on student loans. I wouldn't have to have any student loans for Florida State or Florida. <clears throat> and Florida, um, I should go to because everything's uh, pretty good there, and it's better than Florida State academically, also in political science and law. But um, I just I hate the football, and you know I already know Tallahassee. It's a pretty good town. <sighs> Other than that, you know what? This is a long video. No one's even going to watch it, um, which is probably good that people won't watch because this is an unpopular video. Uh, view for a lot of my uh, a lot of my off audience, they're probably gonna accuse me of things. I probably shouldn't even say it, but you know, I like to say my opinion. That's what's uh, official about this channel. Um, turn it off now if you don't like football. Um, Gary on Conley in Ohio State alum, a guy who was a former uh, great quarterback at Ohio State, a top twenty, definitely a first round prospect, which means he'll make probably ten million dollars on a signing bonus if he was drafted where he should be. Uh, yesterday, a uh, skating report came out about a female that uh, accused him of sexual assault in a hotel room. Uh, there was a heavily investigative, uh, uh, you know, report. Uh, one second. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I was just checking my sources. Um, NFL Draft Diamonds on Twitter, uh, a very official source, a very, uh, very investigative source. Um, investigated. I'm sorry for using that word so much. He talked to three of the four people in the room. Uh, the three people, or three of the five, one Gary and Conley, two a white female. I'm just saying white because we're not allowed to know her name. Um, a black female, a black man, and another black man. So that's five people. Uh, so f um, three out of the five had the exact same story. I'm not going to get into it because it gets graphic, um, uh, as in like uh, sexual, uh, which is you know not what I want to talk about in my channel. But basically, they were, two of his friends were messing around in the bathroom, and then the white woman asked to, like, watch or something, uh, and Gary and Conley's like, okay, sure, and then she, I think, tried to initiate things with him, uh, but all of the people said that he never, uh, like, did anything non-consensual or even anything uh, besides, you know, something that I don't really want to talk about, but everything seems 100% in favor of the athlete. Gary and Conley, and you know, I always like to assume nothing, and then go off the investigative reporting, but when you have three people that are saying the exact same thing without any uh, holes interviewed separately, it usually means that that's, uh, that's the correct version of the story. He put himself in a compromising situation, which is just a, you know, fail on the idiot test. You really should lock yourself in your room and wait to make your millions, 
Um, but if it turns out that for like, somehow, when the kit, rape kit gets back, that uh, Gary on Conley, the athlete, actually did something awful, then obviously he should be in prison. Um, I don't think he will, but I think that this uh, this false report is going to cost him in upwards of $10 million and possibly $20 million this year. I mean, it's ridiculous, and there's no course of action against uh, the woman if it turns out to be a false accusation. Um, obviously, I don't assume anything, but that's what I read. I looked at all the reports and all the investigative reporting and everything confor confirmed it. That being said, he won't be drafted because people can't take that risk. I think the New England Patriots or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should draft him in the seventh round uh, instead of letting him go undrafted because if it turns out that he did actually commit a heinous act, they would just cut him and not be doing anything. So no guaranteed money, but in the seventh round and you pick up a great corner. Uh, I hate him because he's from Ohio State, but he's definitely, I would hate for someone to lose that much money, even if they're from Ohio State. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, sorry, I'm just, I like to read text, uh, and I got a good text. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you stayed around, please don't kill me for, you know, attacking a victim, which is not true because we have no idea how, uh, what to know so far. I didn't make any assumptions. You can check it out online to back up my claims uh, of the, you know, four people saying that the athlete is innocent. Three people, actually. Um, other than that, I think we're good, and I am... Going to stop the video right here. Guys, comment below what college you're going to go to. You know, honestly, you can if you ball out, you can go to TCC. You can go to, um, you can not go to college, but I, I would advise against that. But you can go anywhere. You can go to TCC or you can go to Harvard and you can ball out. So, you know, you got to, uh, you know, pick whatever's best for you. Uh, and if you're a beast, then it's going to happen. Uh, you know, be great. As I always say, I'm going to conclude it with this ringing of the ceremonial child's bell. Okay. As always, go Bucks, go Pats, go Dubs. They won their playoff series. Okay, I'm going to have to go back into that. So they won their playoff series, a straight-up sweep. They didn't even use Durant in a, a game, and barely in the last game. Steph Curry's lighting it up, beasting and feasting, as always. I'm going to show Steph Curry a feast, as usual. Um, but, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, go Pats, you know, hopefully the draft does well. Dalvin Cook, hopefully he goes to the Bucks. Um... Other than that, I'm probably not going to make a Mac Draft video, and this is such a long video. So, Oh, also shout out to the musical theater drama group uh, thing that's on Friday. I'm going to try to get some bum that I know named Robbie to go with me and, you know, expose him to the theater. Because it's pretty dope, honestly. Like, people think it's lame, but it's pretty cool. Uh, so hopefully everyone does good in that, does well. Uh, good luck. Hopefully everyone did well in their FSA if y'all are still, you know, in that, in that uh, math level um, and reading level. Uh, other than that, peace out. Uh, go blue. That's it. <laughs> Peace.